Okay, now we're going to take a look at the breakdown section. Uh, I'm just going to play it for you and then we'll break it down. Here it is. Okay, so uh, as you can see with this breakdown section, it's not really uh, a great deal to it, apart from just getting the rhythms right in your head. Um, the way I think about playing it is just uh, three groups of two and then two groups of four. So um, you're just going to play this using palm muting and then uh, just down ups with the right hand. So you've got a down up, then a gap, then two uh, sets of two together. Then your groups of four come in. Okay, so you just do two sets of that at the end. So um, yeah, you know, once you can kind of get your mind through that, um, it should be pretty easy to kind of like count. Uh, if you set like a metronome at a decent uh, pace and then just did it, you should be able to kind of feel where these where these kind of sit in. Okay, so um, it shouldn't take you too long to get your head around that. Um, the other thing that's kind of a bit more tricky with this is towards the end of the breakdown, uh, instead of having gaps, um, in, well, instead of having that long gap in the first part, you've actually got like a, a kind of a, a step and a half bend, whole step and a half bend. So basically you're playing the note, what you would hear on a sixth fret, um, but you're actually bending the third fret up to that note. That's probably a good way of practicing it actually, just so you can get the pitch of the note. Okay, so you know, again, that's uh, just a good way of practicing that, just hearing the note and then bending up to that. Uh, then you've, uh, you've got the first fret as well, which you're bending up to the pitch of the fourth fret. Okay, so you're doing the same thing again. So it just basically um, play the note and then bend and then hopefully you can kind of get the same pitch. But what you're doing is you're keeping the same rhythm as what you've been playing before. So instead of going, you're gonna go. So on the last one, instead of playing four together, you're gonna play three and then on the fourth one, you're gonna do the bend. But uh, the first bend comes um, pretty much on its own in the gap, so you're not really substituting any rhythms for that bend. Because you'd normally just have. Okay, so. And then on the fourth, very last one, you just put that bend in. And uh, yeah, basically just kind of get used to sort of the bends and the pitches and then throw that into the riff as well and then you should be okay. Okay, and then uh, at the end, you're just gonna have open, then third fret, fifth fret bars, and then you're into the main riff again. Then you're into. Okay, now we're gonna take a look at the outro section. Um, there's gonna be uh, quite a tricky passage before going back to the, uh, the, uh, the same sort of rhythm that we saw in the mid section. Um, but again, there's just gonna be a slight variation on the end. So let me just play that for you and then we'll break it down. Okay, uh, this uh, first section that I played uh, is going to be kind of two notes played per note, uh, or two strokes per note, if you see what I mean. So we're going to start on the fifth fret on the A, then go up to eight on the A, then seven on the D, then uh, five on the uh, A, 
then six, then we've got uh, nine, so we've got, then back to five, then we've got uh, eight. So that's pretty much your pattern there. Okay, and uh, basically you're just doing the picking as well. Um, I've found that doing this with a downstroke kind of uh, causes loads of problems in getting your pick caught in the strings, but uh, most people would probably play this alternate pick starting with a downstroke. Um, for me personally, I'm starting with an up, but um, you know, in this tutorial, I'm not gonna tell you that you should play it like that, um, but uh, starting with an upstroke certainly sets my pick in a better position to be able to play this riff uh, quite cleanly. Um, I suppose the only thing that you might substitute with playing uh, with upstrokes is the fact that on, on each uh, second cycle of this riff you've got a pinch harmonic that um, because you end on an upstroke instead of a down it might be quite difficult to do. Um, so, but you know, it's just the main thing really is to just kind of get the riff right and then once you get really comfortable with it then you can start um, you know, playing it exactly how it is on the record. Okay, so at slow tempo you should have this. Okay, then after that, uh, we're just going to go back into uh, that rhythm that we saw in the midsection breakdown. Okay, but again, on the last one, we're just going to slide into a third fret bar, then slide down to a second fret bar, and then just keep it going. So you're going to have this. Okay, so that whole outro section slow should sound like this. Okay, so now you have all the parts for Psychosocial.